Doing that. That is Lisa McClowry. She does a, uh, a share tribute. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. I was like, did you actually get Cher to record that? <laughs> Un unbelievable how good she is. But she Cher, makes herself look just like Cher, too. Cher, also a huge fan of the show. Oh, I very mean, much we've so. heard. Yes. Yeah, right, yeah, Toomey? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, was... We could have gotten the real Cher, but you know. <laughs> we didn't want to bother. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's uh, start with number nine. Did you know that you can make edible glass bubbles? from a heated up Jolly Rancher. What? People have been sharing this for about a year now. You take a couple of Jolly Ranchers and you heat them in the oven or use a double boiler to make it a little easier. Then use a metal drinking straw and it's like you're a glass blower. Mm. Some people also add coconut oil to the Jolly Rancher which helps it all liquefy. And others are dipping fruit in the Jolly Rancher. <laughs> However you do it, it's hours of whimsical fun. A way for me to scald myself in the kitchen. Yeah, right? Look forward to that. It. <clears throat> Number eight, the name of this recently started Twitter feed explains it. Tattoos, if I what would get if I had the money. So right. some of these are interesting. A little sun, little moon action there. Okay. Right on the wrist. Oh, this one's cute. Dog drinking mm -hmm. probably yeah. uh, Pinot Noir. It's, Very it's nice, Pinot. casual. Okay. Oh, nice that's rose. old. Uh, that's that one? Old, old under boob there. Yeah. That's what that is. That's what they call it, Dan. Oh, oh boy. Dog giving a high five. Right. Little love. And petting the dog from a distance. Social that's distancing with your animal. Oh. Of <laughs> that's cute. Yeah. Duck riding in the back of a yeah. dog or a sheep. Also oh. good. Yeah. None of these are mine, so I'm surprised to see I'm not in there. But. No, wait, no is, this, is this from <laughs> no a website <laughs> saying these are tattoos people get if they had the money, or did Twitter we feed. say that? That's a Twitter, Twitter feed. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I, those don't look like they would be yeah, break the look, bank, right? No, no, I would thought it would be those huge... 40, 50 yeah. bucks tops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what a tattoo yeah. runs, but I'm assuming, you know, come it's on. not like the uh, wings come on, on your you back. have a lot of tattoos. <laughs> Go ahead and go through the list come and on. where they are. I don't want to get into it. All right, number seven. <laughs> Did you ever wonder about a dog's memory? Canine scientists say for the most part, dogs have a short-term memory of about two minutes. <laughs> they also have associative memory, though. That's how they learn things like tricks. They sit, give you, you know, when you give them a treat. They also have episodic memory when something personally happened to them, which is why they might not like going to the groomers or the vet, because they know it was unpleasant for them, or why they like the doggy parks. They know they get to run around and play there. Sounds like a lot of presumption to me. I, it sure does. You know what I mean? We haven't done Does any interviews. Sit down with a talking dog? Thank Thank you. Bottom of this. As far as long-term memory goes, scientists say that's a work in progress and they're still studying it. They can't prove that exists, but they can't prove that it doesn't mm, exist. Yeah. So a whole lot of no information yeah. exactly there. It is conjecture. Yeah. Right. Number six, if you got little kids, you probably know all about these little things. They're called fidget toys. Mm -hmm. Lots of them out right now. A lot of people know what the, the fidget spinner. There's also the puzzles. Um, Silicone poppers, they were originally designed to help kids with anxiety because they provide busy work for the hands and mind. But kids of all ages are enjoying them now, especially the poppet toys. Oh, yeah, Most this them, one. You know, That's the, oh, big. Yeah, yeah. My daughter has one of those. You yes. just, all you do is you sit there you and you pop you, bubbles. You, yeah, it's, it's just, just you bubbles, pop it's one like, side to the other. Yeah, one side oh, to the other. Wow, well, that sounds fun. These are under 10 bucks here. Shops across the country are selling out. They're struggling to keep up with demand. Oh. A lot of options there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, number five. Here's a cool video posted by Andre Rogetli. He's a Swiss free skier who has won several World Cups. And he also posts these great videos himself of himself at the gym or at home doing an obstacle course. Takes that floor's lava game to a whole new level. Yeah. Oh Whoa. my god. Whoa. Wow. 
There you go. One of those, uh, how many takes did it take, or just one take? <laughs> well, if you miss on the window shot, you're yeah, yeah. yeah. down yeah. for sure. Mm. Coming in at number four, if you see a porch with a blue ceiling, there might be a story behind it. According to folklore, people in the South wanted to keep ghosts and evil spirits away. They were referred to as haints, but legend has it that these haints weren't able to cross water. Mm. So they painted their porch ceilings, doors, and shutters a soft shade of blue to mimic the colors of water. Oh, I don't know why couldn't do it on the porch floor. <clears throat> Wait, I, I think now um, it's going to be one of these. I'm half remembering something uh -huh. at, at, at the Grand Hotel in Mackinac Jolly. Island. The the great porch is the biggest porch. Mm -hmm. They have they painted that ceiling blue. I think we did this in the nine at nine before. The ceiling of that porch is a specific blue paint oh. to keep the devil to keep away. The, no, to keep the birds from flying oh. into it. So oh. I wonder if that I thought mm. that was the story, but again. I, <laughs> Listen, just keep thinking out loud. It's okay. Whatever I, comes in your, in your head, truths. it's all good. So I wonder if a lot of that are the birds. Well, no. but were the birds nesting in it? Yeah. Yeah. Keep, anyway. thinking, keep uh, working it out. Keep it's going. You're, keep working I'm it out. I'm enjoying you. Yeah. yeah. Working. I will try and work on that for the free. Okay. I'll look that up. All right. Okay. I thought three. you were going to tell a ghost story, honestly. No. Yeah. Uh, number three, the good folks at the website Worldwide Interweb compiled some screenshots of the greatest job titles. Here are a few. Yeah, Ranch, Ranch dressing expert. <laughs> Professional snuggler. Oh, there you go, Rob. Finally found uh -huh. it. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Director of sandbags? Director of sandbags. <laughs> <laughs> Bright <Right>. kidnapping <laughs> experts. <laughs> it looks... Okay, ah. beaver expert. There's Rick. Yeah, you can always spot him. <laughs> In charge of the big door. <laughs> yep. Oh. All right. Yep. Cat behavior consultant. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Lots of jobs out there. Yep. Number two, here's a video from Toronto of a 10-year-old girl who was able to get away from a wild coyote while she was walking her dog. Her little uh, Yorkshire Terrier came to her defense and confronted the coyote, which then allowed the girl to get away. Okay. Oh, jeez. <gasps> oh. Come on, oh. oh, no, look. Okay, so the orchestra. She's listen. Oh, whoa! Look. No. Well, uh, eventually. A, oh no! I don't oh, no. watch this. Okay. Eventually, a neighbor uh, came out and chased the coyote away. The orchid did have some small bites, but it is doing okay. Uh, GoFundMe has raised more than thirty-five thousand dollars for the dog's vet bill, but. I mean, the, these Yorkies. Sounds like somebody's pocketing thirty-four thousand dollars. I was going to say filet mignon. Like, look at the Yorkies still going after it. <laughs> He got Tough tripped up dogs. by the leash, too. Yeah, he didn't have yeah. a leash on him. There's the there's fight. the GoFundMe page. $100,000 or $10,000? Oh, no, okay. no thir yeah, 30000 But, uh, all right. Wow. Well done. All right, number one, uh, Stefan Heck is the host of the podcast Blocked Party, and he has done mankind a great service by putting together this exquisite compilation. It runs four minutes, but we can enjoy just a bit of it. Fun. 
<laughs> Truly. <laughs> that, That's the night. That is, that is yours. It's night at night. Yeah.